In conjunction with a number of partners, we formed the Gulf of Mexico Fishery Improvement Roundtable, which brings together Ocean Conservancy and other environmental organizations, the shrimp industry, and state and federal partners to find ways to help improve the sustainability of the fishery. There are some promising new technologies that have been developed by the industry that are currently in use that we would like to ensure more widespread application uh, across the fleet. As For many decades, we have used a traditional wooden door shaped very much like a barn door to spread our trawls. The last few years, we've gone to a different type door that's been very unconventional for us in the shrimp fishery, and that is a, a cambered door. These doors are more efficient because they're about 50% smaller than the traditional uh, wooden doors that we're fishing in the shrimp fishery. I was realizing about a 28% fuel savings through use of these doors over the traditional doors that, that uh, were being towed. And we're working with Patrick Riley in the Western Seafood Fleet in Freeport, Texas. Patrick and a number of his captains have been pioneers in developing these, the more sustainable gear. We're doing today with 1,100 active boats what we did 10 years ago with 5,000. So what that means is, is all the ones that are still active, their production has skyrocketed. But if you can take and find you a piece of gear that'll eliminate 50% of non-target species, that's 50% less of that stuff that they have to deal with on this back deck. The way it works, <clears throat> you'll see that the sides of this webbing are pulled in, the sides of this netting. And that creates an acceleration of water that comes down. The water is coming through the, through the grids, the catch through the grids of the TED coming down here, actually picks up speed through this webbing being pinched together, similar to a funnel. On the outside of this webbing, the water is, 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 is calm. Well, fish will seek a, a, a calm area and actually swim away from that hard flowing current, come in here and escape out the hole. You're about uh, getting shrimp off the back deck quicker, getting them into the brine tank faster, uh, reducing cold time with uh, non-targeted species. All those things impact upon shrimp quality because today the metric on quality, the threshold has risen in part because of, um, because of farm shrimp that are visually all but perfect. All right. The reason that we're supporting these new gear types and new techniques that are, being, that are out there today is because we're very concerned about the longevity of our fishery, especially here in the Gulf of Mexico. If we could get the entire Gulf shrimp industry on a level and even playing field, okay, it would go a long way towards raising the value of this product and promoting it on a more of a worldwide basis. At the end of the day, we hope to accomplish two goals with the Gulf of Mexico Shrimp Fishery Improvement Roundtable. First is we want to make the Gulf of Mexico shrimp fishery a model for environmental sustainability by reducing bycatch, increasing fuel efficiency standards, and what we hope is minimizing impacts on uh, ocean habitats. Uh, we can create a fishery that uh, everyone can be proud about, uh, consumers, buyers, fishery managers and industry in the Gulf of Mexico.